Hi, uh, my name is Justin with Justin's Web Design. I run a little uh, web design firm in, in uh, Oregon, and I have been what I would call a an internet marketing enthusiast for, say, uh, since 1998 or so. I uh, stumbled across this great little tool that lets you uh, basically clone yourself and get a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more time out of your day, so to speak. Uh, and it's such an interesting twist on something I'd already tried that ha you know that I had been frustrated with that hadn't really worked. And I just wanted to share it with you real quick. I was excited. I've done it. Uh, I haven't spent a bunch of time doing it, and so I don't have a a ton of results. But I just wanted to show you and share with this share with you this. Uh, tool and, and explain a little bit about why I think it's so powerful. What's the biggest problem that you have in your business? What's holding you back? And that's what, for a long time, I thought it was not enough money. Uh, it it seems kind of obvious. You know, it takes money to make money. You know, you need money to buy uh, products or traffic or whatever it is that you need. Well, as I started to have more cash flow in my business, I, I realized that money wasn't the obstacle. That's not the bottleneck. It's not, uh, you know, the issue isn't not enough money. The real problem, I believe, is not taking action. So we have a lot of information. We have all the information we need, all the Internet marketing tactics we need, all of the anything that we need to build a business all that's really all that's really uh, missing here is the ability to take action now maybe you feel like on some level you feel like okay that's because you know, I'm just lazy and I you know, can't get myself to do it if I could get myself to do it then I'd have enough uh, money to take more time off and all of this good stuff but uh, what I found is that really we don't have enough time or I don't have enough time uh, to do everything that I want to do. And part of this comes from instead of building a business, and this is true with my web design business and I did an eBay business before that, uh, the, the issue comes in because we aren't building a business. I haven't built a business. I built myself a job. And if you read the book, uh, Michael Gerber's book, The E-Myth Revisited, it goes into great detail about the difference between building yourself a job and building a, a real business. Well, I built myself a job. I really like my job. I built myself the best job I've ever had, but it's still a job. If I stop showing up, money stops coming in. And a uh, wise person said, I heard recently in an audio call said the goal is to build a business that you can free yourself from and the first step in that is to create systems and and solutions that allow you to multiply your efforts so if you look at the tagline at the bottom of the screen it says two hours plus two fifty bucks equals one full 40-hour work week and that's something that you can expand out uh, and scale to such a degree that you can really free yourself from your business and that's what got me excited and that's why I'm recording this video right now the new formula two hours plus fifty dollars equals forty hours worth of work and what I'm saying here is two hours of your work plus fifty dollars of your hard-earned money can translate into a forty-hour work week so how could you work 40 get 40 hours worth of work done in two hours by just adding fifty dollars and that by the way those numbers aren't solid uh, maybe it costs you seventy five dollars maybe it takes you four hours but what's even more likely is that it takes you two hours the first time you set this up and then it might take you an hour next time maybe it only takes half an hour uh, for every week Maybe it takes you a couple hours to monitor your your people and to, to uh, manage this all. I almost gave it away what, it, what the secret is. We're almost there. Uh, what if you could get 20 times more done by investing a little money 
and using this new twist on an old strategy. Yep, this is an old strategy. When you hear it, which is just going to be in a second here, then you'll say, yeah, I've tried that. It doesn't work, and or I've had marginal success, or it doesn't work for my business, it doesn't work for my industry, blah, blah, blah. That's how I felt about it. And, of course, the, the old strategy is outsourcing. And outsourcing has problems. I've had these problems. I'm sure you've had these problems. Uh, hiring an outsourcer, uh, they've been unreliable, flaky. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Not only does it take a long time to get a project done, a lot of times they'll say, oh, we can have that done in 24 or 48 hours. And then three months later, you're still working on the same project. It also takes a lot of your time going back and forth with the outsourcer discussing the, the you know every all the corrections within the process and it costs too much money uh, a lot of times uh, it's really marginal whether hiring an outsourcer will will save you money or not and especially if you end up having to refund part of the money to the client because your projects aren't done or you're losing money because the project isn't done or uh, you have to hire multiple outsourcers to handle a situation that should have only that should have only taken one uh, you know bite at the apple so to speak the new twist on outsourcing I'm going to talk about it's actually a couple of things that are different about the way that I'm going to recommend that you outsource and the way that I outsource and the way I had done it in times past I've had things you know built scripts built projects done uh, throughout you know script lance and that, those kinds of programs before and I've had the same kinds of problems you've had the same things we just described but with this new system it comes to a more it's a reliable system it's the best way to leverage your time in my opinion and it's very very cost effective uh, you can get full-time work for as little as two hundred dollars a month and actually I'm paying a little less than that so uh, we'll go over that in the second part of this video. So what are the two secrets to making outsourcing work in 2010 and beyond? Uh, I would say that the first thing is to hire the right people. And your people, the core things, the real fundamental skills that you need to have, are uh, you need your potential outsourced employee to have is they need to speak English and understand English well. Uh, communication is the backbone of this whole system and if they don't understand or if you can't understand them well you're dead in the water from the start. Uh, we need people who are hard-working and you know willing to put in put in the work and learn and and not make excuses. And the last thing is that's really fundamental is you need someone who's loyal both you want to have someone who will stick with you and keep working with you as long as you'll have them and you want someone who's not going to go over to and start their own business and uh, or use your information to help your competition so loyalty is very important and it's something that people don't talk about enough in hiring regular employees, let alone outsourced employees. In the second part of this video, I'll explain you know, where we're going to find these workers. I just wanted to get into you know, the real difference here. And by the way, I'm not talking about outsourcing to India or using outsourced firms or um, outsourcing to the Ukraine or anything like that. Uh, these I've done all of that and, it, and it's been very ineffectual. I've lost a lot of time and a lot, a lot of money doing it, and I'm sure you have too. This is something different, and this is a better way to do it. I'm 100% certain about that. I've already done it, and it's working well, and uh, you're going to learn along with me here. Second, 